All right, uh, whoa, before this talk, I did no research on the science of running. I just ran uh, better than that, hopefully. Lots of benefits, increased blood flow, burn calories, mood direct, indirect, prevent disease, reduce stress. And we have looked at lots of different examples in the sports physiology literature associated with the benefits. There are also potential costs, both direct and indirect. Direct, risk of injury, biomechanical wear, financial, I saw a fantastic study on the cost of running. Indirect, the time you spend could be spent doing something else, like practicing your dance moves, uh, and immunal response. Um, all that doesn't matter, right? Running makes me happy. Running makes me happy, so I do it. So no research needed to make many decisions in life. However, as a scientist, I'm a firm believer in evidence-based decisions. That sometimes, knowing a little bit can help us make informed and potentially better decisions. This is my favorite running myth, that strenuous running kills. Fantastic study, been published in four different ways, but it's the same data set. The bottom right-hand corner, the red dot, two, two deaths. Strenuous runners, running kills. And uh, those two strenuous runners did indeed die, although the bottom point, we don't know why they died, they could have got hit by a car or something, but strenuous running could kill. And lots of people just sat around on couches and died, but we didn't worry about them. And of course, th how fast they ran wasn't uh, reported in this study either. And in that race, it was actually a tie as well, just in case you're curious. Many running myths. Uh, more expensive shoes reduce injury. Carb loading before a race makes a difference. Stretching reduces the risk of undering. False, you should never stretch or do yoga. Muscle cramps are caused by dehydration. Also not true. Uh, pregnant women should not run. You should see them run. Um, pretty cool. There's a lot of errors or challenges associated with doing these types of studies and science. Low sample sizes. You need those runners, couch uh, sitters are a little easier to find. Statistical significance does not necessarily equate to biological si significance. So you can have a statistically significant test, but it doesn't really mean too much. And of course, one of the best movies ever, but um, how do you resolve these differences between runners or between these different individual studies? So in the first sec slide two and three, I showed you some costs and some benefits, and there's immuno benefit, but there's also immuno cost. And so how do you resolve these differences? There's at least three general classes of solutions to pump you up. Um, experiment of one, keep track of changes and you know, how, you, how your body responds to different interventions. Lots of big data out there from Fitbits and watches that we can mine to explore patterns. Uh, and finally, the gold standard in a lot of fields of academic inquiry, synthesis, meta-analyses. And meta-analysis is just a form of review but you look within each individual study and ask what is the strength of evidence associated with an intervention. You're kind of freaking out, he's behind me now. Um, so a meta-analysis is something that I as a scientist and ecologist that work in natural systems use, and as an individual I use to get up to speed really rapidly. And it's always a big picture set of studies and always a weighted difference between a treatment and control. And in lots of studies, sometimes it's not really obvious what the control is, like a couch sitter versus a swimmer, but we always look at those weighted differences. So what I did prior to this talk, which I've never done, was pull through the scientific literature and find the best gold standard meta-analyses associated with running. So does running significantly improve health outcomes? And it was runners versus couch sitters, which you could argue isn't like the best set of experiments. And seven out of 10 of the outcomes that they measured in these studies were positive, and there, were, there was a, a between a 25 and 30% net difference that was positive. So weight reduction, triglycerides, you know, health, heart, et cetera, so all really positive. Next gold standard meta-analysis, so review of, review of a bunch of studies, 17 individual studies, 318 individuals, was sprint interval training versus running versus control. So a little bit more sophisticated set of experiments in that there wasn't just two groups. They only looked at aerobic capacity measures, and in these, 70% of the outcomes were positive again, so great. There was an 8% difference, net difference, between those that ran really fast with bad music on to those that just went for a little jog, and there was a 20% net difference between those that ran really fast and those that did no exercise. 
So this was a big deal right now in sports physiology is how far should we run, right? And so a lot of scientists and a lot of sports physiologists and trainers would argue we're made to run, but should we run ultra marathon distances? So this summary is uh, nearly 200,000 individual runners that went from sprinting all the way to massive distances. So at the top we have track sprinters at very short distances and at the bottom ultra marathon. On the left, the risks are zero to 100%. And you can see the bottom cluster is ultra marathoners, up to 60 to 80% risk of injury. All the other studies hug the low end. Should we wear minimalist shoes? So there's a huge you know, industry associated with sports wear, like Lululemon's everywhere, awesome. And so 19 studies, 634 runners. And it turns out, again, same kind of plot. The left is favors more minimalist uh, footwear versus more cushioned footwear, and this is an illustration by my son. Uh, decisions, decisions. So looking at this large body of literature, over 200,000 individuals have been studied and synthesized. Fast and short is most benefit. Oh look, it's over in a minute. Um, less than 10% risk, and you're okay unless you run really, really far. So thank you, run, 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 but you can't hide from the benefits of running.